Ooh. Ah, all right, so here is the deal. It is freaking winter, dude. I don't know like what date on the calendar winter officially starts, but Delaware has just like, yeah, Delaware has declared winter. The air, you know, has a little bit of a bite to it. It's a little bit stingy. The water's in the 40s. It is supposed to snow today. I'm a fan of this though. This might be some tough fishing here today though. And tough fishing it has been. I went to a couple of different spots. The fishing has been tough. Basically, I was looking to catch any fish species that we could catch, take home, and deep fry. For the first time ever, I bought this deep fryer at Walmart. So next day, headed out in search of something to sizzle. The past couple days I've been out and I just, just nothing's been working. Today we're fishing for pretty much anything. I have an assortment of baits. We have an assortment of spots. Today is the day, man. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty good. Okay, rod holder into the dirt. So I literally just stocked up on like everything here. We are not getting skunked here today. All right, so we have juicy red worms, two packages sliced beef liver. I think this is going to be the secret key here today. Pretty much I'm going to be running two rod setups. This is going to be like the bigger catfishing rod. We're just going to kind of leave it here. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. So just a disclaimer, stuff smells so bad. Pretty simple setup. Got the hook, beef liver, goes up to a leader. It goes up to a swivel. Shuck that guy on out there. Boom, first rod is out. There's a big lake up there that dumps down into here. I know there's catfish in that lake. It rained a lot. There should be catfish in this like little like spillway creek area. There could be some other stuff in here too. I mean, these catfish could be giant. So you never know, man. Second rod, we have a little trout magnet. I have absolutely no clue what to expect here today. I just, dude, I just want to catch a fish, man. Something's got to get deep fried here today. Oh, that was a bite, big bite. Come on, what the heck? <sighs> Bruh. All right, so that was literally the first bite. Got here like all day. Oh. There we go, first fish of the day. Oh my gosh, that is such a good feeling. Oh, that's a decent fish. Oh, that's a decent fish. This is on the night crawlers. Or I guess, what are they green worms? Red worms, but they're dyed green. Okay, first fish of the day. Come here, boy. Putting up a decent little fight here. Oh, oh my gosh, look at those night crawlers. Big old mouth here. Dude, I, I cannot explain how good of a feeling that is, man. Literally so much time has gone into trying to catch this freaking fish right here. This fish. <laughs> Oh my god, this fish literally saved the video the past like whole week, dude. It has been a struggle, man. Oh yeah. Come on. Okay, oh jeez. It's a lighter rod too. This feels pretty freaking good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, what do we got here? Ooh the heck is that couldn't resist the liver come here boy that is i mean especially after it's been such a struggle that is a nice plump caddy right there all right buddy thank you biden thank you for that fight oh yeah wrong way Hello? <laughs> all right he's all right he's good Back in the kitchen, Chef First State reporting for duty. Before we get started with the cooking real quick, guys, thank you for everybody who has been buying the merch. If you do buy some, send me a picture of you guys wearing it. I think it's so cool to see that. Yeah, just a slight plug. If you wanna get something before Christmas, make sure to order by December 13th. Whew, all right, let's get this started. I'm excited for this, man. Boom. All right, we gotta figure out how to put this thing together here. But I picked this guy over up at Walmart for like 50-ish dollars. Now, do you need a deep fryer to actually, you know, fry fish? No, and is this the healthiest option? Probably not. But I have like an affinity, is that the word? With like watching stuff get deep fried, it's like so satisfying when it comes out all crunchy and crispy. See, a lot of these times when I do the ketchup cooks, the food, it comes out good, but it just like, it doesn't have that satisfying aspect to it, like a nice crunch into the fish. I mean, maybe something, I don't know, there's different ways of cooking. This is gonna be my first time ever using a deep fryer. Let's get this thing set up here. All right, I think, we got something figured out here. Look at that, dude, that actually looks sick. Definitely for next time, I gotta make sure I have enough freaking oil, dude. I guess, I don't know, I thought that was enough, but I think it needs to be up to the- Right over there, I don't know. 
oil filled up to the line. We're gonna put this lid on here. Oh, no, wrong way. Watch this just like explode. 340 ish. That's like a little picture of a fish right there. So we're gonna let that heat up. Dude, I'm excited, man. First time ever using deep fryer. This whole, like, this gadget cook is kind of a mess right now. So on top of, like, it was already hard enough to catch the freaking fish. We just went to the grocery store twice. I had to go back get more freaking oil, and then now- The process of cutting this fish up took me a while, and I was not freaking filming, dude. For those of you who are wondering, I'm pretty sure this was a bullhead catfish. I think it was a brown bullhead. Let me know in the comments below if I'm incorrect. Pretty much what I did here. It was a process, man, with catfish. I, I skinned him, cut the flays out. As you guys can see, like, this is probably one of the freaking best fillet jobs I've ever done, and it is not on camera, dude. And then overnight, what I did, I soaked this in some milk, and I'm kind of just letting it dry, patting it as dry as I possibly can because moisture and water apparently do not mix with the deep fryer. I've been watching a lot of deep fryer videos. So we got two bowls. I'm gonna put a cup of flour in each of these bowls just like that. And we're actually gonna be making a beer batter. So we got this Molson Canadian. We're gonna pour this right into the bowl with one cup of flour. Just like that. Mix this up real nice and well. Apparently this is like the easiest beer batter to make. So I actually ended up adding a little bit more flour just so that it's a little bit thicker. The thicker that this like beer batter is, the thicker your crust is gonna be. And a nice thick little batter. Basket in first. Apparently that is so that nothing like sticks to the bottom of it. All right, catfish into some flour, just normal flour. This will like make it, like if there's any moisture, I guess this takes it out. Flour. Two. Oh yeah, look at that. That excess drip off there. Right, first time ever deep frying literally anything. Oh my God, all right, let's see if we can put one more in there. Can you fit that in there? Boom, always flip it away from you too, that's what I've learned. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on here. I don't really know the purpose of the whole lid situation. All right. I think it pretty much be done by now. Dude, look at that. Ooh, I'll give it like 10 more seconds. Put it on the little thingy right there. That looks crispy. I, I don't know if it's gonna taste good. He seasoned it, wasn't put on the thing. It looks like part of it kind of stuck to the metal thing. These two kind of stuck together. Oh gosh. Right, let's put it over here. Our cooling rack, see if this actually comes out. The one clumped it. Oh my god, that one's like stuck on in there. <sighs> that looks freaking, that looks amazing though. Beautiful fried catfish. Bro, we did that. That looks so freaking good. I mean, these two are stuck together and this clump was stuck on the bottom, but I mean, for the most part, that looks so good. So we're gonna, that's gonna chill over here on the cooling rack. While we still got all this batter and the oil, cut up this onion over here. We're gonna try to make some onion rings to go along with this, man. All right, so same thing. Onion into flour into there. Just gonna do a couple of these. I, I really don't know what I'm doing, but working out sort of. Never let me know in the comments below. Like, I kind of wanna, I think I wanna make this into a series. There's so many ways you could deep fry things. And I feel like even fish I've tried before, like, this is like a whole new experience. This is like your batter fry. I mean, there's so many ways to do this deep fried stuff. Get all that excess off. Now, these should be pretty quick. Batter them up, send them for a swim. Do we have any more in here? Oh, one more, I think that's like max capacity. All right, crispy looking onions. I don't know if, I, I, I don't know. We're gonna see if that actually worked here. They look pretty freaking good though, man. Oh, that sounds so crispy. Chef First Day has upped his game officially. My goal here, oh yeah, see these kind of stuck together a little bit. Crispy and crunchy is what we're going for. So there is a look, dude. Fried bullhead, I'm pretty sure it's bullhead, right? Not the healthiest recipe, but I think, like this was so much fun to do. I think we're gonna turn this into a little bit of a series here. I wanna experiment more with the deep fryer and other fish and other things we could potentially deep fry. But all right, man, this thing was swimming just yesterday. Do our little salt, little Cajun spices. I have not eaten all day. I'm so freaking hungry, man. Hopefully this is worth it, man. All this freaking, dude, it is, this, you guys know, man, this video is taking me forever to make. One last look, first bite catfish.
Do you hear that? Oh my god. Definitely greasy. That's so freaking good, man. Beautiful looking white meat. Oh my god. Cajun seasoning, a little bit spicy. That's freaking bomb, dude. Definitely a little on the greasy side, but I guess that's just deep frying and I guess fish like this in general. Holy crap, man. That is like literally so good. The crispiness is freaking on point, dude. All right, next to uh, onion rings. Not exactly sure, like I have less faith in this. I mean, they look good. Feels light, flaky, crispy. First time ever trying to make onion rings, Walmart deep fryer. Let's see here. No, that's better. I think I cooked this better. Did you hear that freaking crunch, dude? Not the healthiest option. Chef First State is warning you guys. I, I don't know how I could go back. Definitely, man, go down there, hit that thumbs up button if you guys want to see more deep fried action. It's hot and ready, man. Where are you guys at? Slide through, man. All right. We're going to take a few more bites of this. Look at that meat, dude. Super fresh, super white. So freaking good, man. So yeah, fishing, you guys saw me. It's been... It's been a struggle. The way I look at it though, it is only up from here. We're gonna be doing some other kind of fishing and fishing for stuff that I've really never fished for before. The future is looking bright, especially with this freaking deep fryer, man. This is so sick. So as always, man, thank you guys so much for all the support. It truly does mean the freaking world to me. All I gotta say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.